Alright guys, welcome back to another video. Alright guys, so today I just got a performance tweaking tool to show you guys. This is called the Universal 86 Performance Tuning Utility, right? So with this, it helps you to get the most out of your system and also helps you to fine tune certain stuff like for indie games, regular games, get your stuff on the fly, just like a quick menu that comes with the Legion Go, which is this right here. You could also use it as a replacement to tweak certain stuff on the fly instead of using the Legion Space quick menu. So that's what I'm about to show you. It helps you put up your clock speed over 32, but depends on what you're doing, I would recommend that you're doing it all the time. Okay, make sure you gotta make sure your fan and fan curve and everything is up to par with that specs while you're playing because you don't want your system to overheat but the option is there if you want to put it over so that you can get most out of your system right i did it a couple times but it also there's a lot of stuff in here that helps you to tweak the system on the go that you can't get with leech in space right so let me let it get into it real quick and i'll show you how to download it and how to get it up and running right so before i show you how to download let me just show you all the settings and stuff so when you download it i'll show you that in a minute how you pull it up you press lb rb and d-pad up when you do that it will come up and this is it right here this is the icon right here that i downloaded so you see the same thing in your desktop so off rip same thing like legion space you get your wi-fi tall to turn off your wi-fi you can turn it on you could mess with your bluetooth when you go down you see your brightness you can bring it up down or you can bring it all the way up it's definitely a good replacement for legion space then you got your volume then you got your mute off rip you don't get mute on your legion space quick menu so you got you could use this right here to mute your system instead of going inside the game settings to mute it sometimes kind of hard to find it especially in warzone or modern warfare 3 so this right here is good good off the rip just to mute it then you got emulate mouse input you don't gotta mess with that it's up to you and you got a lot more stuff you could do it start and boot as well minimize minimize application and they close it out with that so where you get the juicy stuff at if you go to advanced right here and then this is where you see all the good stuff where you could tweak it put the clock speed up mess with the temperature see the battery life and everything so first thing if you turn on temperature out of the box it comes at 95 celsius you could bring it down if you want up to you but i'm just leaving it at 95 then you got your power limiter so this is where this is the juicy stuff right here so you got out of the box it comes at 15 watts but if you go all the way up to 60 you get it see my recommend thing is put it at like 33 35 so you get a little bit more boost out of your system then you also got adapt adaptive tdp so you can set it so that it doesn't go over a certain amount of tdp also, you could set it the temperature. If it gets to 15 watts, if you get 15 watts out of it, then the temperature goes up to 95. Try to keep it. Yeah, so this could this right here will help you to keep your system cool if you're trying to go over 60. So let's say you put it up all the way to like 40, you could set your temperature thing to when it get a certain temperature, then that's when the fan like kicks in and try to bring the system down to that temperature, right? So that's how you can help out to not let your system overheat when you go down you got adaptive igpu you could this is mostly for indie games i mean you don't have to mess with this you can leave that off but if you're playing indie games and this you could use this to tweak the settings so you get the best performance when you go down you got a curve optimizer max cpu clock speed max cpu count so off rip you know eight cores depending on what game you're playing again you might not need all the cores if you're playing like a triple a game then you should leave it at eight but this will help you out with battery life as well so you're not arguing up all the cores so you could bring it down to four if you're playing like some simple games right so it's up to you over you want to do it and what game you're playing so it's a game by game basis to how you want to set your system to give you the best performance then you also got a uh, igpu clock this you can mess with that again mostly for I, I say leave that off but if you're playing in the game guy you can mess with it and put it to your liking all right now you also got a frame rate limiter you can set it to a frame rate limit to what you want if you don't want to go over you can leave it like that but the best one to go with is adaptive frame rate so you can set the minimum and the max to how you want your system to to perform right and that all goes with your 
your TDP settings, your adaptive TDP settings. So if you get getting, if you're boosting it over 30, then you can set it to how you want a least amount of frame rate or more frame rate. It's up to you how you want to do it. So it's a game by game basis. Just test it out and then you can see, yeah. So whenever you're playing a game, just pop it open and then you can play with it and see what's the best, best fit for you. You could also turn on radiant super resolution from here, but it doesn't matter where you turn it on, it's going to be on but it's a quick setting where you could turn it on right off rip instead of you going all the way into amd app or legion space so then if you go to display here you just play with the resolution as well bring it all the way down to 4 640p leave that 1200p 600p wherever you want to go then 144 hertz this i don't think yeah so you can bring it on all the way to 60 bring it back up to 144 you can't put in between though i try to put it in between but you can't do that you gotta, i guess you gotta wait till the nova give you the option where you could put the frame rate in between 60 and 144 but only got two options for now and that's on power you could do it for battery as well if you're on battery you could limit it to 60 and 44 so that's a great option to help you to save battery life depending on what you're doing where you're at and then once you do that you just hit apply settings then you also got uh total custom fan curves I gotta do some more testing with this to see what's going on before I give you any information about that, but that's an option as well. But I gotta test it out to see how it works and see if it's efficient enough. But that's basically it guys. So let me just get into it and show you where to download it. But this tool right here helps you to tweak your system to your liking and it's a great fit for the Lenovo Legion Go. All right, so for you to download it, I'll put the link down in the description down below. So it's this one right here, Universal X86 2020 handheld. So you wanna make sure you get the one that says handheld. There's two different versions. I guess one is for desktop, one is for handheld. It's a beta nine, at this time, the latest one is beta nine. So if you go down here, it shows you all the quick menus, how to open it up and get to certain stuff. So when you get here, you just gotta click this, then it will come here. If you get in this error message right here, you just gotta click this, then hit keep, and then you could go in there and download it so now you just go to here i mean already downloaded so that's why i'm saying remove or repair but you just hit next finish 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 update so it's, it's just a regular installation process nothing different right there and then once you get it open once you get it downloaded then you just open it and then you you'd have it up and running so then you can mess with it the settings tweak it to your liking if you guys like what i'm posting hit that like button down below drop a comment down below let me know if you're using this right now or if it's doing good for you or if it's not working for you just let me know in the description down below subscribe to the channel for more awesome content guys i really appreciate it when you guys subscribe leave a comment and let me know what you guys think but that's basically it guys thanks for tuning in and remember to always say guys health is wealth peace and love i'm out mm -hmm.